Hello and welcome to our video where we'll be discussing the differences between AC and DC welding. Welding is a process that has been around for centuries and has advanced significantly over the years. One of the most important factors to consider when welding is the type of current used. Today we'll be exploring the differences between AC and DC welding and when you should choose one over the other. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with AC welding. Alternating current or AC welding is a type of welding that uses an electrical current that alternates in direction. This type of welding is commonly used for welding thicker materials such as aluminum, copper and stainless steel. The alternating current allows for a deeper penetration of the weld making it ideal for welding thicker materials. However, AC welding has some drawbacks that should be considered. Advantages of AC welding AC allows us to weld aluminum and magnesium with a thick welding process thanks to the DC-EP phase of the alternating current. Unlike DC, AC doesn't experience a voltage drop when using long leads. Both TIG and stick welding benefit from AC when using long leads to weld far away from the power source. AC output creates a more stable arc when welding metals prone to magnetic fields by preventing arc blow and arc deflection. Drawbacks and AC Welding One of the main drawbacks of AC welding is that it produces a lot of spatter which can be messy and difficult to clean up. AC welding also requires more skill and experience to perform correctly. This is because the alternating current makes the arc more difficult to control which can result in a weaker and less stable weld. Additionally, AC welding requires a larger welding machine and more power which can make it more expensive on the other hand, DC welding or direct current welding is a type of welding that uses a consistent electrical current that flows in one direction. This type of welding is commonly used for welding thinner materials such as mild steel and cast iron. DC welding is easier to control, produces less patter and produces a stronger and more stable weld. Advantages of DC welding one of the main advantages of DC welding is that it is easier to learn and requires less skill and experience. This makes it ideal for beginners or those who are new to welding. DC welding also requires less power and a smaller welding machine, making it more cost-effective. Additionally, DC welding produces a smoother weld that requires less post-weld cleanup. Disadvantages of DC welding It's challenging to weld magnetized metal due to arc blow and deflection. DCTIG and SMAW can't weld metals like aluminum. This equipment is more expensive, but since DC welders become widely available, this is no longer a pronounced issue. The differences between AC and DC welding The essential difference is obvious. An AC output switches the polarity and the current constantly flows back and forth, while the DC output keeps the polarity uniform and the current flows in one direction. For most welding jobs, AC is undesirable. The arc is extinguished and reignited every time the polarity switches. As a result, AC causes arc instability when stick welding and doesn't benefit MIG or FCAW welding processes. When to choose AC or DC welding? The answer depends on the type of material you are welding and the thickness of the material. If you are welding thicker materials such as aluminum, copper or stainless steel, AC welding is the better choice due to its deeper penetration. However, if you are welding thinner materials such as mild steel or cast iron, DC welding is the better choice due to its smoother weld and greater control. Overall, both AC and DC welding have their advantages and disadvantages, and the type of welding you choose depends on the type of material you are welding and the thickness of the material. We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between AC and DC welding and when you should choose one over the other. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.